Good morning. Welcome to this service of morning prayer for February 22nd. My name is Susan Drain. I am a lay reader in this Cathedral Church of All Saints in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be still and aware of the presence of God within and all around. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for this day and for this time when we can turn our thoughts from busyness and responsibility to your light and your peace. We thank you for all your gifts, for your creation around us, for the abundance of your provision for us, for friends and loved ones, and for both the blessings and the challenges that enrich our lives. We thank you for your promise and your presence that we are not alone. Amen. A reading of Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Here ends the lesson. Psalm 121 is probably the runner up to Psalm 23 in the popular psalm stakes. I lift my eyes unto the hills, the Lord is my shepherd. They are both songs of comfort and assurance. I am looked after, I am tended, I am in the care of a power greater than myself. I am not condemned to the lonely individualism that is so celebrated in our culture. Or, as the United Church Creed so powerfully begins, we are not alone. The imagery of Psalm 23 is different from that of today's psalm. In the Shepherd's Psalm, the setting is controlled. Sheep are led to pasture, the water is still and safe to drink. We sit down to our own abundantly provisioned table. Even the shadow of death knows its place in a valley. The landscape of Psalm 121 is quite different. It is cosmic, not agricultural. We begin with hills, not pastures and valleys, and hills that lead us to think even higher and farther than their rocky slopes and clouded tops. Our help comes from the same force that made heaven and earth itself. A shepherd sleeps across the gate of the fold to keep his flock safe but the keeper of Israel never sleeps. This God keeps the earth solid under our feet, keeps the sun and the moon in their courses, keeps us from all evil forevermore. Hallelujah. It's a delusion, snort the cynics. You only have to look around, they say, to see that there is no such thing as divine protection from evil that believers are no more protected in their going out and their coming in than any other drive, driver who ventures onto an icy highway. No, God doesn't provide get-out-of-jail-free cards, and faith isn't a bulletproof vest. Psalm 121 is an expression of aspiration, I think, a matter of attitude. That's why it begins, I lift up my eyes to the hills. You can't look up to the hills and cower at the same time. When you straighten your spine and square your shoulders, you see that it is all infinitely bigger than you, and yet you belong to and in this immensity of meaningfulness. 
It's still a scary big world out there, but we are not alone. It is all in God's keeping. I don't understand exactly what that means, but I'm going to keep looking up. May it be so. Before we turn to the tasks of the day, let us pray for ourselves and for one another. Give us strength for this day. Give us joy in this day. Comfort those who suffer and those who mourn. Send us wherever we are needed and sustain us on the way. Keep our eyes on those hills and our hearts secure in your strength. And we pray together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.